All right, good morning. My name is Aaron Scheel. With the, I'm the operator training manager here at Ziegler Caterpillar. Uh, an ex-operator, so I succeed as an uh, excavator operator mainly. And I'm super excited to talk a little bit about our next-gen excavators. Uh, and what we're going to speak about really uh, in depth right or the most right now is about the 2D grade control. So one of the neat things about what CAT has done with our next-gen excavators uh, is they, from the 313, one of our smaller machines, all the way up to the 395, the largest, have incorporated the same technology suite through the whole line. Okay, so we're going to have 2D grade control with assist, we're going to talk about now, we're going to have payload, and we're going to have e-fence, some things that we'll talk about in a different segment. But like I said, we're going to talk about 2D grade control right now. What this allows us to do is, as an operator sitting in there, it literally turns this machine into a tape measure, uh, a depth, a grade rod, all that stuff all at once. So as an operator gets accustomed to what its capabilities are, uh, it's really going to limit the guesswork. It's going to take the guesswork. I, as I dug ponds and things over the years, getting out and checking it all the time, climbing back and forth, it was safe, you know, unsafe, unproductive. All that stuff can happen right from the cab now. So enough of that. Let's talk about what our what, what's making it happen first. So uh, how we're getting this uh, it, uh, information is the sensors on the machine. So we've got a rotation sensor buried in the back of the pin here. We've got an IMU up on the top of the stick, an IMU on the back of the boom, and a rotation or a sensor, a pitch and roll sensor in the base of the machine so it can tell where it's headed there, where it's sitting. With all those taken uh, uh, measurements, we're able to get real-time data at the T. Okay, so what this allows me to do is I'm walked up up to this spot here and I know that this X on the ground is my a known elevation, doesn't matter if I know what it is or not, but from that dot I need to be down three feet. I can simply take my tooth, put it over that X, hit the benchmark button, go into my menu, and dial in a three foot cut, proceed to dig down to my three feet. I'll get a visual and an audible alarm as I get close to it. I get right on grade. I can use my assist feature that also has overcut protection. So I can't get the bucket teeth beyond that three foot cut. Go ahead and pull in the stick. The machine will grade for me, um, slick as can be, okay? If it's a rough cut, it's just getting it close. What I can use is called a touch point. So before I move, I'd bring the machine, the bucket over, I'd touch a random point, one that I have, I can get back to after I've moved. I'd touch point, I'd move, I'd retouch point, and that'll make uh, adjustments for any uh, elevation change that the excavator makes. Okay? So if I was walking along here digging, and I climbed up onto a three foot pile, and I didn't do that touch point, my grade would come up that three feet. Okay, so I'd have a big wedge in there. If I touch pointed, climbed up on the pile, touch pointed again, it would make that correction and my grade would continue. All right. If it was a touchy job, uh, a basement, some a footing, something I wanted to be really accurate, I would use a laser, do all my bench part, benchmarking and my first dig all the same, but I would use a laser and I would catch that laser catcher before I moved, make my move, re-catch that laser, and it would make that same correction just a little bit more accurately, okay? Real simple, I can configure the buttons and the joysticks to be my benchmark buttons and my laser catcher, all that great stuff. Um, I can set up the tones so it sounds just like my laser catcher on a grade rod that we're used to. Um, takes just a few minutes to get all that stuff figured out and you'd find, find uses for it endlessly. I think about digging uh, slabs for uh, manholes and hydrant bases and I could be having a half most of that done before the uh, pipe layer or the rest of my crew even got there. So I could be way ahead of them. I'd have the ability to measure so I can reach out and I can benchmark and it'll keep track of the distance that that tooth moves from that point. So I could dig lengths correctly. Um, yeah, it just is amazing what this thing could actually do uh, when you sit and think it through. So that's, uh, and that, that we're just talking about level grades at this point. So percentage of grades as well. So we can dig ditch slopes, we can dig uh, slight sewer trench day, uh, grades, that sort of thing. All with this 2D grade control that's standard on all the uh, next-gen excavators. So again, guys that have dug it, uh, in an industry, I really uh, think you should give it a try. You'll be amazed at what, uh, what time savings it'll be. So thanks for your time.